It's good to talk about Jesus more and more. So we come here to talk about him, our great husband, our lovely husband. Turn your Bible in uh, the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14, verse uh, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God and I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Praise God. I'd like to speak on the message Mount Zion on the sides of the north. Uh, tayo manalangin sa Panginoon. Lord Jesus, as the song said, as the song said, Lord, let's talk about Jesus. And Lord, we would love to talk about you. We love to talk about your word because it brings joy, stimulation in our hearts. And we come here, Lord, with expectation, because I know, Lord, that if you are here, there's always something, Lord, that you have prepared for us. And I know, Lord, that you would feed us once again by your precious word, by this great bread of life that is giving us strength, inspiration, that is teaching us your ways and your plan for this age. And I pray, Lord, that as we come to your word, once again, may you help your servant, that I may be able, Lord, to explain your scripture plainly to your people. And uh, it would add uh, to their learning, Father. Lord, I can, uh, I, I can do nothing without you. I'm depending on you because you promised that when the Holy Ghost is come, Lord, that it will teach us all things. So thou art the great teacher. And Lord, we need the inspiration by your spirit or the inspiration of the Holy Ghost for us to be able to understand the word. So Father, may you help your servant and bless your people. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may have your seats. God bless you. Praise God. It's good to see everyone. At salamat sa Diyos na bago tala tuluyang uminit ay uh, nakapag-install na tayo ng ating uh, additional air condition. Uh, dahil uh, ibang summer ngayon, ano? talagang uh, mas mainit kayo sa dati, uh, many years ago. Uh, kasi abnormal na yung climate natin, yung weather. But I know that there's a time that God will fix everything that God will restore back the Edenic beauty, the Garden of Eden condition. And uh, don't forget, that uh, this will be uh, the last Sunday uh, before our Easter meetings. So we have a fellowship here from Thursday to Sunday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Okay, we'll start at 9 o'clock. So be here before 9, ano? 
And if you could also bring your lunch, it would be better para hindi kayo nagmamadali and you could also spend time uh, with uh, the brethren pagkat uh, those are holidays. At sa Sunday naman, I will start in our regular uh, Sunday service that would be 9.30. So we would have different speakers each day and also keep them in prayer that the Lord will uh, guide them and make them a great blessing to the bride all over the world that would be uh, listening. So let's keep that in our prayer. So don't forget, uh, itong Thursday, meron po tayo nga gathering. Uh, maybe we could also, uh, mga deacons, uh, maybe uh, we could uh, have a meeting uh, before uh, the meetings would come. We could set a meeting uh, to finalize everything. And also, I, uh, I was thinking uh, something uh, last Sunday uh, to include in my announcement. And I realized na nakalimutan kong sabihin sa inyo, uh, dahil uh, na nagkaroon ng distribution ng tablet, ay hindi po nakapunta lahat. And I was, though, I was told that there are more than 50 na andoon sa list na hindi pa nila nakuha. Uh, that already includes our brethren in Baguio and Ilocos. Uh, yeah. So, sabi sa akin ni Brother Jeremiah that they would uh, set again another schedule to come. So, uh, if your name was on the li- uh, uh, is on the list at hindi kayo nakapunta, uh, be sure to come in the next schedule para makuha niyo po yung uh, tablet. Kasi otherwise, dahil kung konti na lang hindi makakuha, kayo na mismo ang kukuha doon sa office sa Maynila. So, that will be more inconvenient, ano? Uh, so, uh, ay kunin nyo na lang uh, doon sa second schedule. Uh, if there is any family here na hindi nakapag-sign, since uh, wala pa namang schedule na sinesend sa akin, ay uh, pwede kayong uh, mag-sign up uh, for the request of the tablet uh, para may forward ko sa in-charge doon. At uh, may hawol yung pangalan nyo at may sama kayo sa second batch. So I think ay wala na ako nakalimutan. At nandito pala si Sister Cristina no, from uh, Montalban Rizal. And it's good uh, to have her again. Uh, nag-text siya kahapon sa akin kasi sabi niya, Pastor, ay pag-pray mo na hindi ako magkaproblema sa travel ko. So, she, she, hindi lang siya dumalo ngayon para makadalo ng live service pagkat uh, they are hearing it online. Pero dumalo rin siya para magpabaptize. So, napakalayo pa yung uh, binahin niya. Uh, at kinakailangan niyang bumalik din ngayon, mamayang hapon kasi... Uh, Manila will be under ECQ sa March 29, ano? Hanggang April 4. At baka ma-extend pa yan kasi ang taas ng uh, COVID cases ngayon. Uh, parang uh, 10,000 plus something in a day. That is worse, ano, na nag-start last year. Uh, we have more cases in a day. Nalagpasan na yung pinaka-peak ng cases uh, last year. Uh, so, uh, Mga <laughs> problema ano na rin yung mga namumuno sa atin, ano? Uh, kaya we see how this world is falling apart. But I thank God because our hope is in Christ. We are not hopeless people because we have a big God. So it's always to put our trust in Him. And I believe that the Lord is developing the faith that is already inside of us. So in, in times of crisis, okay, the only thing that you could use to deliver you from that condition is your faith. Because that faith would release the power of God. 
and the power of God will bring into manifestation the promises of God. And we know what God promised for us in this age. At alam natin na hindi tayo pababayaan ng Panginoon. He will supply all our needs according to His riches in glory. And we trust Him, we believe Him. We don't uh, uh, look at the symptoms, but we fix our eyes on the promise. We fix our eyes on the Word. Because we know that God is the God that cannot lie. And He is faithful, He keeps His Word. Is that the kind of God we have? That w- that's why God is reliable. He is dependable. Amen. Because He is a faithful God. What a faithful God. What a faithful God we serve. Yeah. So, tayo na ba'y handa? Salta ng Panginoon. And uh, may the Lord help us as we go into the Word. Now, uh, we are reading from Isaiah 14, uh, from uh, verse 12. Now, actually, if you would read uh, chapter 13 to 14, uh, makikita natin about God pronouncing judgment to Babylon and her king. Alam natin, uh, during this time, when Isaiah was prophesying these things, Babylon was not yet a world ruler. Ang malakas na empire during the time of Isaiah is the Assyrian Empire. But the Lord already knows what would become of Babylon. And uh, the Lord already okay, had spoken through Isaiah what would be the end of Babylon and her king. At makikita natin dito si Isaiah, you know, as a prophet of God, he was not just seeing the king of Babylon, but he was seeing the spirit that is influencing the king of Babylon. Are you catching that? Kaya as he was declaring the judgment of God sa king ng Babylon, then you could see the transition there ay binanggit niya si Lucifer pagkat Isaiah was seeing the spirit that is influencing the king of Babylon and that spirit is Lucifer. It's the same thing. Kaya uh, in the, kay Ezekiel, di ba? In the time of Ezekiel, as he was prophesying against the king of Tyre, uh, he also saw the spirit behind, at sabi niya, Oh, thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Thou art the anointed cherub. Thou wast perfect in the day that thou wast created until iniquity was found in thee. What was that? Okay. The prophet Ezekiel was seeing beyond the king of Tyre, he was seeing the spirit, Satan himself, that is influencing this king. The same thing kay Isaiah. He was seeing the spirit behind. And as we watch what is happening around this world today, we see uh, the kings of this world, we see what the Pope is doing, we see how, uh, how uh, this uh, spirit is trying to unite all religions. Now, we should not only see these characters, these people, but we have to see what is the spirit behind that. That it is Satan, the God of this evil world that is controlling this world, that is manipulating these people, the people in the religious system, the people in politics, in different areas, we could see that is, is, this is Satan that is behind all these things. So when you look, what do you see? So we don't just see the people, but we see the spirit behind those people. Kaya nga sabi sa Bible, that gross darkness okay, is upon the earth and upon the people. 
Amen. What is that darkness? It's not the natural darkness, but these are the demonic influence behind the people. And thank God we have an eagle's eye that we could see the spirit moving. Amen. While the spirit of Satan, while these demonic forces is working through people, I could also see the spirit of God working. Amen. Through the elect seed of God in this generation. Working in the chosen ones. While Satan is moving through his people to achieve his plan. To materialize his goal. I believe that the Spirit of God is also moving. Amen. In the people of God to fulfill the promises and purpose of God for this age. That's why the bride in this age would realize that it is Him working in her to fulfill the promises left for this age. To finish the work that is left for this age. That's why when you see the ministry that is working for the people of God today, what do you see? You don't just see the people or the persons that the Lord is using, you must see this is the Spirit working in the bride. That this is the Spirit of God is speaking to the bride. This is Jesus in bride form. This is the bride coming of Christ. Amen. When you see the ministers of God preaching, you would see that this is the voice of the archangel is speaking to the bride. So you don't just see the person, but you see the spirit is speaking to that person. Amen. Kaya alam natin na mayroong nagyayari sa atin. Because this is not man speaking, but this is the spirit of God is speaking through man. Hallelujah! Kaya nakikita natin our faith is being lifted up. Amen! We are being recharged. We are being prepared for translation. Amen! This message that is coming out from the mouth of the servants of God is bringing us to perfection. Is bringing us to maturity. Amen. But some, they don't recognize it. Amen. They could not go past the flesh. They are just seeing a person. Amen. But now, but for us, when we see this ministry, we see the Spirit working in this ministry. Amen. We see what the Spirit is trying to achieve in His people. We, we could see God and His program. We could see the rock beneath the rock. rock. Amen. That's why we know that this is the mighty move of God in this generation. So people don't recognize it because they are blind as a bat. As a bat. Pero salamat sa Panginoon because, amen, we have an eye salve. Amen. That's why we could see, we could, uh, we have eyes that could see. What good is light to a to a person that is blind? Light has no value to a person that is blind. But for those who are not blind, mga kapatid, light is precious because light would expose things. Light would reveal. So you could see here how Isaiah see things. He could see the spirit behind the king of Babylon. Pagkat you could see in Isaiah 14 verse 4, sabi niya, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. He was prophesying against the king of Babylon, then suddenly, binabanggit niya na si Lucifer. At sabi niya sa verse 12 dito, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, the son of the morning? Sabi nga ni Jesus Christ sa Luke 10 verse 18, I beheld Satan fall as lightning from heaven. 
So you could see here how Satan was cast out from heaven. He was a fallen star. He fall he fall from heaven. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? You could see how the Babylonian Empire weakens the nations. Why? And you could see it's the spirit behind that kingdom. Verse 13. Now look at this. It is showing you, Prophet Isaiah was showing you what happened in heaven. Diba? And as a prophet, the Lord was showing him what was in the heart of Satan before his fall. It is showing you Satan's ambition. Why? Because everything is recorded in the fourth dimension. What comes to our thoughts, even the desires of our heart, it is all recorded. And here comes God revealing to the prophet what was in the heart of Satan. Amen. That caused him to fall. At 70, it is a verse 13. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Satan was not contented to his God-given position. He wanted to exalt his throne above the stars of God. Amen. What is the stars of God? These are angelic creatures. Angelic beings. He wanted to exalt himself. He wanted to be above them. Above all the angels. He wanted even to be above Michael. At sabi niya, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Now, ito po yung aking topic because I'm speaking about Mount Zion on the sides of the north. Sabi niya, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. So it is showing you that there is a congregation in the sides of the north. At nakita natin before Satan was cast out of heaven, ang kanyang desire is to sit. Okay? Alam nyo, the word sit here, pagdating kasi sa English, ang iniisip natin, parang ganyan, you are sitting there, ano? But when I look at, uh, in Hebrew, sa strong concordance, the word sit here, it means to dwell or to marry. Okay? Now, it will be to marry, to marry the congregation there, he would be the husband, he would be the head, he would be the leader, he would be the ruler. I say, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. There is a congregation in the sides of the north na gusto ni Satan na siyang mamuno. He want to sit. He want to rule over them. At sabi niya, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. He was not contented to his position. He wanted to take the place of God. He wanted to be worshipped. It is showing you the desire of Satan. Kaya nga na hindi niya na-achieve yun sa langit. May mga kapatid no hiyon. He was cast out from heaven to the earth. Yung kanyang hindi nagawa doon sa langit. He is trying to achieve here on earth. Because he wanted to be God. He wanted to be worshipped. I will be like the Most High. Pero sa yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. Do you see if the prophet Isaiah knows about hell? He knows that there is such a place like that. Ano sabi niya? To the sides of the pit. Si Isaiah meron siyang revelation. 
that when a sinner dies, a wicked dies, he goes into the pit. There's a dimension na pinupuntahan nila. Waiting for the white throne judgment in the general resurrection for them to be judged. Pero ha, while waiting for their final judgment, they were in a prison house. Or they are in a prison house. At sabi ng Panginoon, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. Ayun yung kanya, doon na. Doon siya mag doon yung seat niya. Hindi hindi siya pwede sa langit. Amen. Sa book of Revelation, merong king ng hell, Abaddon. Meron siyang army. Why? Pagkat si Satan na nagrebel din siya doon, meron siyang nadagit na one third of the stars na sumama sa kanya. Kaya Revelation 12, nagkaroon ng war in the heaven. Satan with his angels fought with Michael and his angels. But Satan and his angels prevailed not. Now, now, now look at this now. It is showing you here what was in the heart of Satan. That caused his rebellion. That caused war in heaven. Pagkat meron siyang ambition. Gusto niya maging Diyos. And one of his desires is I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. There is a place called in the sides of the north. Are you catching this? There is a place called in the sides of the north in the spiritual realm na kung saan merong congregation doon at si Satan, he want to sit upon this mount of the congregation. He wanted to be their leader. He wanted to rule over them. He wanted to be their head. Now, let me show you, I'd like to read uh, several scriptures here so we could catch it. Turn your Bible in uh, Psalm 48. Verse 1. This is about Zion. Sabi to, great is the Lord. Do you agree with that? Great is the Lord. He is great in His works. He is great in His mercy. He is great in His ways. We have a great God. Great is the Lord. And greatly to be praised. Where? In the city of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a city where God is greatly praised. And that is called the city of God. Hallelujah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. In the mountain of His holiness. So it was called the city of our God. Even it was called the mountain of His holiness. This is the mount na gusto nga upuan ni Satanas in the mountain of His holiness. Anong sabi dyan? Beautiful for situation. Oh my. Beautiful for situation. In other words, beautiful for elevation. At sabi, the joy of the whole earth. At sabi to, is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. Oh my! Now look at the description of Zion here. Amen. Look at this congregation in the sides of the north. Ang sabi dito that God is greatly praised in this city of our God. 
It is describing a place. It is called the city of our God. The mountain of His holiness. Beautiful for situation. And the joy of the whole earth. Hallelujah! Because in this city, amen, it brings the gospel that could bring joy. He is the joy of the whole earth. At ang sabi dito, ano yung mount na ito? Ano yung city na ito? Is Mount Zion in the sides of the north. Amen, the city of the great king. Now we are talking here about the city of the great king. Alam natin merong natural Zion. Amen. Pero merong heavenly Zion. Amen. Yung binabanggit sa, sa Isaiah 14, it's not the natural Zion in Israel. Because nag exist na ito even before the earth was created. Before the earth was created, there is already a congregation in the sides of the north. At gustong umupo ni Satanas doon. Amen. And this city, this Zion, is called the city of God. This congregation is called the city of God. Amen. It is the city of the great king. Amen. Now look at this. Because Satan wanted to sit here. At sabi sa verse 3, God is known in her palaces for a refuge. Amen. God is the refuge in this city. Now, let, let us see how Apostle Paul explained this one. Tingnan natin sa Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. But ye are come unto Mount Zion. Oh my. Ye are come. Where? Unto Mount Zion. At ano itong Mount Zion? And, and unto the city of the living God. Sabi sa Psalm 48, Amen, this is the city of God. Beautiful for situation. Of situ for situation. Diba? The city of the great king. At here comes Apostle Paul, mga kapatid. Amen. He is seeing Zion as the church of the living God. He is seeing Zion as the lamb's wife. He is seeing Zion, amen, as the city, as the holy city of the living God. Oh my. At sabi dito, but ye are come unto Mount Zion. What's Mount Zion? And unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. Dito gustong umupo ni Satanas. Amen. Nagkaroon siya ng desire because there is a congregation in the sides of the north. At sabi niya, I will sit. Amen. On the mouth of the congregation in the sides of the north. Gusto niya mag, mag, maging leader. Gusto niya maging head of this congregation. Amen. But God will not allow it. Hallelujah! Gusto niya nga mag-penetrate doon at ikas niya kanyang false doctrine pero mga kapatid, hindi pinayagan ng Panginoon. Because uh, when, uh, when, the, when Satan tried to do that, Michael stood in Mount Zion and he defended the city. Are you catching that? Hindi nagtagumpay si Satanas. Amen. To sit upon the mouth of the congregation in the sides of the north. Kaya mga kapal, sinasabi ko sa inyo, because we are part of Zion, hindi pwedeng magtagumpay si Satanas to come and enter the city, to sit in the city. Amen. He tried to enter the Pentecostal gate. He was able to sit in Pentecostal churches. 
Amen. He was able to sit in a Baptist church. He was able to sit in the Methodist church. He was able to sit in the Presbyterian church, in the Catholic church, but not so in Zion. Hallelujah! Because it's the city of the living God. Amen! Amen. Kaya nga mga kapatid, amen, may mga tao na gusto pumasok ni Satana sa Mount Zion. Amen. Gusto niya maghari, pero salamat nandito si Michael. Hallelujah! Nandito si Michael na hindi niya papayagan yan. Parang si Sarah na gusto siyang galawin ni King Abimelech, the king of Gerar. Sabi niya kay, Gerar, kay King Abimelech, sige, gawin mo yan. You try to touch Sarah or else you will be a dead man. Amen! What was that? God was protecting Sarah. Amen! Marami mga churches ngayon, they have been defiled. Satan has found a seat in their churches, but not so in Mount Zion. Because Mount Zion is the city of God. Sabi sa Bible, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. Hallelujah! If you have found Zion, if you are in Zion, God is greatly praised. Amen! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This is a city where God is highly exalted. He's highly praised. Kaya nga sabi sa Bible, praise, Lord, praise, waited for thee in Zion. Amen. Naghihintay na yung pagbuburi bago pa lang bababa ang Panginoon. Amen. The people in Zion, meron silang dala-dalang papuri. Meron silang dala-dalang pag, pagsamba sa Panginoon. Why? Because they have a revelation that great is our God. He is greatly praised in the city of our God. Hallelujah! The people of Zion, they know how to worship God. They are the true worshipers. Umikot ang Panginoon. He was looking for true worshipers. Pumunta sa Pentecostal, pumunta sa Catholic, pumunta sa Baptist. Hindi niya masumpungan. Amen. But when he went into Zion, he saw the true worshipers that worship God in His Spirit and in truth. They worship with revelation. Hallelujah! Brothers and sisters, we have come unto Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. Oh my! Do you see yourself? Hallelujah! Kaya kahit anong gawagawin ng kaaway, hindi siya magtatagumpay. Amen. Ang kaaway nagtangkang pasukin ng mga ilang iglesia. Amen. Sa message na ito, nagtagumpay siya. Amen. But not in Mount Zion. Hallelujah! Not in Mount Zion. Amen. Not in Mount Zion. Amen. Because they would recognize the voice of the bridegroom. They know who their husband is. Hallelujah! They will recognize, oh, this is a different scene. Oh, they would reject it. Why? Because God is protecting Mount Zion. It's His own city. That's why God will defend Mount Zion. Oh, my. And I think our church is named Mount Zion Tabernacle. Hallelujah! Mga batid, if we call this church, if we call this congregation Mount Zion, and God is not highly praised, there's something wrong. We are not living up the name. Amen. Because Mount Zion is the city of our God, where God is greatly praised. Hallelujah. In other words, the people in Zion, they know how to worship God. They know how to praise God. They know how to exalt God. They know how to give honor and praises to Him. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Do you realize that? That you are one of those people in the congregation in the sides of the north. Way back in the beginning. Gusto nang umupo ni Satanas doon. Amen. Pero he was intercepted in heaven because Michael and his angels fought with Lucifer and his angels. And they were cast on the earth. At anong nangyari mga kapatid? Sabi ng prophet, hindi natapos yung digmaan sa langit. Yung digmaan sa langit. Amen. It was continued in the human realms. It became battles in a In the, you, in the human realm. Yung battle sa langit na tuloy sa earth. Amen! Amen! At dito sa battle sa earth, hallelujah, bumaba din si Michael. Bumaba din ang kanya mga angels. Revelation chapter 1, si Michael ay merong 70 stars sa kanyang kamay. Amen! At sa bawat star na yon, sa bawat messenger na yon, in each of those star is a constellation of stars. Amen. We see Paul and his group, Myranius and his group, Martin and his group, Columba and his group, Luther and his group, Wesley and his group, and we see also Brother Branham. We see a star, the seventh star, Brother Branham. And under that star is a constellation of stars. And you are under that star. At anong ginagawa ni Satanas? Umaataki siya. But we are to prove that Satan will not prevail. You know, because he did not prevail in heaven, he will not prevail on earth. Hallelujah! We were not deceived in heaven. We could not be deceived on earth. Amen. Oh, my. Praise the Lord. Do you see yourself? Amen. Do you see that Michael is fighting with us? Do you see Michael coming down with an open book? Mga kapatid, kaya ka, pinapakita ng Panginoon ito, we could see the revelation is flowing. Why? Because we know Michael is here. Jesus Christ is here. Jesus Christ is revealing His Word. Kaya napakarami natin nakikita. If a minister doesn't see this thing, he is standing on a wrong tower. Amen! Because every minister is a, is a watchman. Is a watchman. Nandun sila sa tower. At kung hindi nila nakikita yung bagay na ipinapakita ng Panginoon sa atin, they are standing on a wrong tower. Amen. But dito sa tower na aking kinakatayuan, nakita ko si Michael Labuaba with an open book. Hallelujah. Setting his foot, one on the sea and one on the land. And he cried with a loud voice as when a lion roared. And when he cried with a loud voice, seven thunder uttered their voices. At sabi ni Brother Branham, the seven thunders will utter their voices to the group that can take the word and hang it there and it will slice and cut. Oh my. Are you those people? Have you heard the seven thunders? Oh my. We have heard the seven thunders. This divinely revealed mystery truths. Sabi ito, eh, but ye are come unto Mount Zion. Look at Apostle Paul here. He was not looking at a natural Zion. He is seeing Zion as the church. And how did you come to Mount Zion? By your new birth. Why? Pagkat alam natin, we were, we were attributes of God expressed in flesh body. We bypass the word. We bypass our theophany. Tama ba? Amen. But because of our new birth, amen, this attribute of God in us is connected back to our theophany. That's why we are hearing from our theophany. And where is our theophany? In heaven, beholding the Father's face. 
Oh my! Alam niyo mga kapatid, every attribute of God express in the flesh body, amen, has a theophany in that dimension. Amen! Every eternal attribute of God that was expressed on earth, meron silang part na nandun na sa langit. The reason you are going to the rapture is because a part of you is already there. And it's pulling you up. It's pulling you up. Oh my. Unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. Oh my. It was called the heavenly Jerusalem. Maraming ako confused na yung mga tao sa message ni Paul. Anong sinasabi mo, Paul? Meron pa bang ibang Jerusalem? Saan mo nakuha yan na meron pang heavenly Jerusalem? Merong heavenly Zion. Alam ni Paul, pagkat pumunta siya sa syudad na yun doon, and he saw the king of the city. Amen! Alam niya, merong heavenly Jerusalem. Kaya nga sa Galatians 4, ang sabi niya, Oh, Jerusalem is in bondage. Tinutuko niya yung Jerusalem sa Israel. Is in bondage with her children. Diba sabi niya? But we are, from, we are from Jerusalem that is above. Oh my! Ito yung gusto ng upuan ni Satanas. But we are in Jerusalem that is above. The mother of us all. Oh my heavenly Jerusalem. At sabi niya dito, and to an innumerable company of angels. Every attribute of God on earth has an angel in that city. Ay hindi konti at innumerable company of angels. Nang pumunta si Brother Branham doon, sabi niya, I saw millions of them. At nang siya'y bumalik sa flesh body, ang sabi niya sa, kan- sa kanyang congregation, sabi niya, I saw some of you there. So, ibig sabihin, some of you? Bakit millions ang dami? Pagkat mga kabatid, yung mga iba doon, nakasama ni Brother Bonham ng pangaralan niya when he was in his earthly body. Pero yung mga iba doon, hindi pa bumaba. You were, or, you, you were already there. Nandoon na kayo. That's why when when si Brother Branham, he saw the constellation of his stars under him, sabi niya, there are millions of them. At kasama po tayo doon. It's an innumerable company of angels. Hallelujah! Do you believe that you have an angel? Did Jesus teach these things? Did the disciple understood these things? Anong, anong sabi ng mga disciples sa Book of Acts? Nang hindi si maliwala na si Peter yung nakalabas, na kumakatok, sabi niya, Oh, it is his angel. Hindi yan si Peter. Mga, aba, it is his angel. Baka yung angel na yun. Amen. Because the believers know, Amen, na meron silang angel doon. Because Jesus preached these things, that your angel beholds the Father's face in heaven. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. Sabi ni Barbara, I'm not, not, not to try to change the word. Amen. But in my Father's house are many different kinds of bodies. Merong brown doon, merong puti doon, merong blandi doon, merong itim doon. In my father's house are many mansions. At bakit kayang sabihin ni Apostle Paul ito? Why? Pagkat mga kabatid, like Brother Burnham, he was caught up into the third heaven. Amen. Nang pumunta siya doon, he saw his group. He saw the constellation of his stars under him at nakita niya innumerable company of angels sumalubong sa kanya. God bless you, Brother Paul. Yenakap nila si Paul. Kaya nang buwaba siya when he described that place. Sabi niya, it's the city of God. Amen. It's the heavenly, not earthly, the heavenly Jerusalem. Amen. To an innumerable company of angels. 
Do you believe you have an angel? Oh my. To innumerable company of angels. Sabi sa Psalm 28, it is the city of the great king. Could you imagine? Si Apostle Paul could explain this city in a, in a very detailed way. You know why? Pagkat pumunta siya doon. Kaya nga sa Hebrews 7, he was talking about the king of the city. He was talking about this Melchizedek. Sabi niya, this Melchizedek. He is the king of Salem. At binreak down niya yung kanyang pangalan. Sabi niya, ah, his name means the king of righteousness. And also the king of peace. Hindi ba sabi sa Bible, the Christ is our righteousness? He was called the prince of peace? At sabi daw sa Melchizedek, sabi niya, He is the king of righteousness. He is the king of Salem. What is Salem? Jerusalem, heavenly Jerusalem. Salem means peace. Jerusalem means city. And Paul was talking here about Jerusalem, the city of peace. At sabi niya, mga kapatid, nang binrig daw niya, si Melchizedek sabi niya, has no father and mother, has no descent, he has no beginning of days nor end of life. Now consider how great this man is, that even our patriarch Abraham would pay tithes to this man. Have you considered how great this man? Sabi niya, and without contradiction, the less is blessed by the greater. Nang ibig sabihin, this Melchizedek is greater than Abraham because it was him who blessed Abraham because the less is blessed by the greater. It is not Abraham blessing Melchizedek, but it is Melchizedek blessing Abraham because Abraham is lesser, Melchizedek is greater. What was that? He was telling us about the king of that city. Amen. The king of that city is Melchizedek. And who is Jesus Christ? He is Melchizedek manifested in the flesh. That's why Paul said, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh and he was called Jesus. Oh my. How great is the king of this city. It's an eternal city. I was explaining last Friday. Alam nyo, para maunawaan nyo yung nangyari sa langit. When the Lord created the angels, hindi sabay-sabay. Hindi ibig sabihin, dahil anghel silang lahat, pare-parehas ang kanilang life forms. No. When God created the angels, they are angels with a different life form. Why? Because now let, let, let me explain it this way. Sabi sa Bible, the things that are not seen, okay is being understood by the things that are seen. Tama ba? Sa creation sa Genesis 1, ang nakita natin, anong ginawa ng Panginoon? Okay, nilikha niya ang botany life. Nilikha niya ang marine life. Nilikha niya ang, ang uh, animal life, ang fowls of the air. Pa? Mas nauna pa sila doon sa Eden kaysa kay Adam. Tama ba? Nandun na yung serpent because serpent was an animal. Kaya nang wala pa si Adam for several days feeling ng serpent sa yung Boston. Oh, I am the highest of all the creature. Walang tatalo sa akin. All of you are my servants. Pagkat siya ang pinakamatalino sa kanila. Pagkat wala pa si Adam. Diba? Diba? So, nandun siya, naglalakad siya. Why? Because the serpent is reflecting Lucifer. 
Pagkat what happened in heaven was repeated on earth. So naglalakad-lakad siya doon. Akala niya siya yung head. Akala niya siya yung boss doon. Pero hindi niya nautuwaan yung, yung mystery ng creation. Hindi niya naunawaan Amen yung constellation of stars. Hindi niya naunawaan Amen yung mga nature na mga yung mystery sa creation kaya hindi niya sila mapakalanan. I have feeling nga akong boss dito. I am the brightest. I am the highest. Pero mga kapatid, nang nilagay ng Panginoon si Adam, nang nilikha ng Panginoon si Adam at nilagay niya doon sa Eden, mga kapatid, anong highest, highest ka dyan? Be my servant. Are you catching that? I, I'm showing you creation here. Nang lumikha ang Panginoon sa Eden, nakita natin, mas nauna pa kayo mga ibang life forms. Botany life. Di ba? Animal life. Marine life. Fowls of the air. Nauna pa sila bago ilagay si Adam. Are you catching that? Pero mga kawan, nang wala pa si Adam, bangamat napakaganda yung garden, God's life was not there. Pagkat lahat yung life forms na yun, they are temporal life. There is no life that would express God. But when Adam was created, he was created in the image and likeness of God. Are you catching that? Kaya kung ganun ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa Eden, ganun din sa langit. Nang naglikha ang Panginoon ng mga angels, para kung nakikita, parang inuna niya pa yung ah, mga temporal angels. Ang kanilang life form ay temporal. Hindi na-realize ni Satan that he is a temporal being. Bagamat he is already millions of years old, he is still temporal. Because there's a point in his life that God would annihilate him. Nauna pa siya kaysa sa atin. Kaya siga-siga siya ka doon. Patapos, nilikha ng Panginoon ang mga angels that came from His attributes. Amen. That are eternal, that came from His own life. And these angels could never be deceived because they are part of God. Hallelujah. At nang nag-rebuild ni si Satanas, ano ang nadaya niya? Amen. You my angel with a temporal life form. Amen. But those angels with the very life of God, those angels that are eternal, they could not fall. Kaya ano nangyari? Sabi ko nga nung Friday, nang bumagsak si Satanas at kasama yung kanya mga anghel nang sila'y bumagsak, bakit hindi sila niridim ng Panginoon? Bakit walang plan of redemption? Because they are not part of the eternal attributes of God. Kaya hindi na sila hinamol ng Panginoon no plan for redemption. Because to redeem is to bring back which is part of you. Hallelujah! Pero nang tayo ang bumagsak because you are attributes of God, there is redemption. Hallelujah! Pagkat alam ng Panginoon, yung attributes niya was manifested in the flesh. That inside that flesh is the eternal attributes of God. At nang ikay bumagsak sa kasalanan, redemption is to bring back what is already His. Hallelujah! Kaya God has to make a plan of redemption. Why? Pagkat bahagi ka niya, you are eternal attributes of God. Kaya kinakailangan magkatawang tao siya mabayubay sa krus ng kalbaryo. Why? Because you are redeemable. You are redeemable attributes of God. But Satan is not redeemable. His angels, they are not redeemable. Do you catch that? Kaya sabi ko sa inyo lang last Friday nang bumagsak si Eve, ini-express ni Adam ang Diyos. Diba? 
Nagbumagsak si Eve. Hindi sabi niya sa Panginoon, Panginoon, bigyan mo na ako na yung mga sawa. Palitan ko na yan. Bumagsak siya. Hindi mga kapatid. Alam nyo, kaya kinakailangan damayan ni Adam si Eve. Pagkat alam niya kung saan siya galing. Pagkat nang nalungkot siya, hindi sabi ng Panginoon, Adam, halika, kukuha uli ako ng alikamok dito, gagawin ko yung babae. Hindi sabi niya, matulog ka, Adam, pagkat kukuha ako ng bahagi mo to form the woman. At nang ginising ng Panginoon si Adam, at pinilisenta ng Diyos yung babae, sabi niya, Thou art bone of my bone, and flesh of my flesh. Meron siyang revelation kung saan galing itong babae nito. Nagaling siya sa kanya na bahagi siya. Kaya nang bumagsak siya, dinamayan siya ni Adam. Kaya nang kayo'y bumagsak, mga kabatid, alam na Panginoon kung saan kayo galing. You are attributes of God. And God could not deny Himself. Amen. God could not reject a part of Himself. Because you are eternal attributes of God. Amen. Siya yung shepherd na buwa ba? Iniwan niya yung 99 to find that lost sheep. Do you understand what redemption is? I could not redeem what is not mine. Amen. I could not redeem what is not part of me. Redemption is to bring back what is God's. Yung sa Diyos, ibabalik yon. Kaya salamat sa Panginoon. Bagamat tayo bumagsak sa kasalanan, God has to restore us back because you are eternal attributes of God. Yung mga angels bumagsak, si Satan bumagsak, but they are not redeemable. Pero yung mga angels, yung ating mga theophany, Amen. Which is spun off from that great pillar of fire, which is eternal. Hallelujah. They could not be deceived. Sa palagay nyo, if, if we could not be deceived in heaven, that attributes will be deceived on earth. No way. Hallelujah. Remember, Michael is with us. Amen. He's fighting for us. He's giving us revelation. In the age of greatest deception, we could be overcomers because, amen, we have the sword of the king. We have the revelation of the hour. Ayun lang nangyari sa Eden. May mga life forms sa nilikhang Panginoon. They were life forms. But they are not eternal. They were temporal. They did not express the life of God. Amen. Pero si Adam, he was created in the image and likeness of God. Kaya nga mga kapatid, rest assured that we could not be deceived. Why? Because in the first place, we are the attributes of God. We are redeemable. Amen. Do you imagine? Since the creation of Satan, gano'n na siya katagal. He might be millions or several hundreds of millions of years. Pero hanggang ngayon, buhay siya. Pero hindi ibig sabihin eternal siya. Amen. Alam niyo ang kagandahan dito sa minsahe? We have a prophet of God. We have the seventh star. The seventh messenger. Na kung saan mga kapatid, ni-reveal na yung entire plan. Amen. From the time, sabi ni Satan, I will be like the Most High God. To the time na itapon siya sa Lake of Fire, nakita natin ang kanyang, ang kanyang beginning hanggang doon sa kanyang ending. Pero hindi lang yun ang pinakita. Amen. Yung messenger na ito, ipinaliwanag niya sa atin, what is before birth and what is after birth. Have you seen a man in this age? Or in the past ages that he ever did that? Kahit yung mga pantas at marurunong sa ating panahon, sige nga. Who could explain the mystery before birth and after death? Si Pope? Wala kang revelation yun eh. Diba? Denominational ministers, yung mga theologians na nag-aral seminary, no, they could not explain this. But we have a prophet that was caught up beyond the curtain of time. Kaya nang buwaba siya, he could explain to us the scripture because nagaling siya doon. Yeah. 
Nang galing siya doon. Di ba? That's why we know the mystery of our life. Kaya nga napakarami nating naunawaan. Sa dami na nga, sa dami ng pinag-aaralan sa siyensya, sa dami ng mga discoveries nila, there is no book that could explain you that there is such a place like this that exists somewhere. That there is a heavenly Jerusalem. The, have you found a book made by science that could explain that there is a place like that? No! Pero tayo mga kapatid, we have a book that could explain to us that there is a place where people don't don't get old, where people don't die, where there is no yesterday and tomorrow. There is a perfect place. There is a city of God that there is a new Jerusalem that, that there is mga kapatid, a place where there is innumerable company of angels. And we don't only know that place, but we have the map and the guide to go there. Hey, Amen. Have you read a book made by science to show you how to get in there? Hindi nga nilalam yung lugar na yun eh. Pero mga kapatid, salamat sa Panginoon because we have a map. We have a guide that could bring us to that place. Hallelujah! That there is a way back to that place. Uh, a way through justification, sanctification, and baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. But we have come unto Mount Zion. Now let me explain this. Sabi sa book of Isaiah, the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Gustong umupo doon ni Satanas. Diba? At ang sabi ni, ni, ni David sa Psalms, Mount Zion on the sides of the north. Now, pagkatalan natin ang Mount Zion, when we talk about the heavenly Jerusalem, about the city of God, si Father Barham pumunta, pumunta siya doon. Tama ba? At nang pumunta siya doon, sabi niya, I want to see Jesus. Sabi ng, sabi ng voice sa kanya, He is a little higher. Why? Because he, was in the, uh, he is in the seventh dimension. I like you to catch this. He's in the seventh dimension. Pa? So what is the North. The seventh dimension. Because the sides of the north is the sixth dimension. Now, look at this. Let me show you a scripture, Psalm, Psalm 75. Psalm 75, verse 6. Ang sabi dyan, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Sabi dyan, ang promotion ay hindi nanggagaling sa east, hindi nanggagaling sa west, at hindi nanggagaling sa south. But God is the judge, He put it down one, and set it up one. In other words, promotion does doesn't come from the east, from the west, from the south, but promotion comes from the Lord. Pagkat siya ang nagsiset up. Now, binanggit yung east, binanggit yung west, binanggit yung south. Ano ang hindi binanggit dyan? North. So sabi, hindi galing sa east, hindi galing sa west, hindi galing sa south, pero galing sa Diyos. So, where must... So, sa, sa anong location ng Diyos? North? Naniniwala ba kayo na ang stars ay representation ng something? In many
many messages of the prophet, in explain the prophet, ang North Star ay si Christ. He is the center of the universe. Tinawag niyang the North Star. Pagkat siya ang the brightest sa constellation ng Ursa Minor. He is your North Star. At in explain ba ba lang, iba mga mga star ay nagmumove sila, nagwawand, may mga wandering star. Pero ang North Star, Amen, it stays in its position. Hindi gumagalaw yon. Kaya yung mga sailor, kapag nandun sila na at nawawala sila sa dagat, para malaman nilang direksyon nila, titingin sila sa North Star. Pagkat hindi na iba yung location nun. Laging North yon. It's the center of the universe, yung North Star. At sabi ni Brother Branham, that North Star is Christ. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hindi siya nagbabago. He is the North. At napumunta si Brother Branham in the sides of the North na kung saan nandun yung congregation. Ang sabi niya, where is Jesus? Sabi niya, he is a little bit higher. So where is he? Where, where was he when he went there? He was in the sides of the North. And who is the North? Jesus is the North. He is the North Star. Oh my. I hope you catch that. That's a revelation. <laughs> Do you see that? So promotion comes from God. Not from East, not from West, not from South, but from the North. From the Lord. Now, balik tayo sa Hebrews chapter 12. And to an innumerable company of angels. Verse 23. To the general assembly and the church of the firstborn. Who is the firstborn? Christ. He is the firstborn of every creature. Sabi nga ni Paul, He is the first from, from the dead. He is the firstborn. This is the church of the firstborn. The church of Christ. This is the true church of Christ. Amen. Look at how, how Paul sees Mount Zion. He's seeing it as a church. Sabi niya, which are written in heaven. Hallelujah. Do you believe that your names are written in heaven? Amen. Amen. Why? Because your citizenship is there? Punta ko sa Amerika. Punta ko sa, para, sa pa, pa, parang uh, statistics office sila doon. Wala akong birth certificate doon. My name is not written in America because I am not a citizen in America. Pwede kong tingnan dito, kunin sa Kalasyaw, yung aking birth certificate. My name is written there. Pero alam natin, our name is written in heaven. Ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, we are citizens of heaven. We are just strangers and pilgrims in this world. Alam natin ang ating origin. We came from there and we are going back there. Amen. Which are written in heaven. And to God, the judge of all. He is the judge of all. And to the spirits of just men made perfect. What is this Mount Zion? What is this heavenly Jerusalem? The spirits of just men. Pag sinabing just men, it means these are people that are justified. Are you justified? Even we are justified. These are the spirit of just man at sabi sa Bible, the just shall live by oh my that's why we are living by faith because we are the spirit of just man hallelujah kahit ganito na ang kalagayan ng Pilipinas ng mundo ngayon we are living by faith because the just shall live by faith Hallelujah! Because perfect faith casts fears away. Do you believe that? Because faith 
works by love, and love casted out all fear. Kaya hindi tayo nagwo-worry because we have big God. Because the just shall live by faith. You mga iba, they are, they are living by sight. They are living but what they see. Kaya they are so much affected. Pero tayo mga kapatid, Amen, ang ating faith ay base sa pangako ng Panginoon. Base sa sinabi ng Panginoon. Sinabi ng Panginoon, hindi niya ako pababayan. Sinabi ng Panginoon, tutulungan niya ako. Sinabi ng Panginoon, siya aking kalakasan. Sinabi niya sa sinabi ng Panginoon siya aking deliverer. Kaya mga kapatid, ano man ang mangyari, magtitiwala ko sa kanya. I will live by faith. Amen. To the spirit of judgment. Sabi diyan, made perfect. Amen. We are made perfect. How could you be made perfect? How could you be made complete? What can you what can make you perfect? It's the word. Ah, oh, mga kapatid. Pagkat naggo-grow tayo sa salita ng Panginoon, nang tayo nagkaroon ng new birth, hindi ibig sabihin mature na tayo. Amen. Kaya kinakailangan pa tang turuan tayo. Imol tayo ng Panginoon because we are still growing. Amen. At salamat sa Panginoon mga kapatid, because we are made perfect how by the word. By this divinely revealed mystery truth. Amen. These things, these seven thunders, it's bringing us to perfection. It's bringing us to maturity. Until such time that God could smite the masterpiece and sabi niya, speak. Amen. The spirit of just man made perfect. From glory to glory, we are being changed. We are quickened. By the quickening power. And there is a transforming power inside of us. And the word is making us grow. Amen. The just made perfect. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. And to the blood is sprinkling that is speaketh better things than that of Abel. Yung blood ng Panginoon, yung blood ni Jesus Christ, it is speaketh better things than that of Abel. Bakit yung uh, yung uh, yung blood ni Abel, he was crying for vengeance. Pero makapag yung blood ni Jesus Christ, he was crying. It is speaketh better things. It's, it's speaking of forgiveness. It's speaking of redemption. It's speaking of deliverance. It's speaking of peace. Don't you know that you are the blood? The bride is already the blood because God is speaking through the bride. Because the blood is speaking today, tama ba? Where is the blood speaking in the bride? Amen. Salamat sa Panginoon. This is the blood of God is speaking better things. Are you hearing the voice of the blood? Amen. We are hearing the voice of the blood is that is speaking better things. Oh my. Kaya nga, in explain sa Bible that we are not the children of the bad woman. But we are the children of the free woman. Kinontra si Hagar at si Sarah. At sabay dito si Sarah he is Jerusalem which is above the mother of us all. Do you believe that we are not the children of the bond? Of bondage? The denominational people, they are children of bondage. Because they come from a bond woman. But we came from a free woman. Sarah! Amen. We came by promise. See, Ishmael is, he came after the flesh. But Isaac came by promise. Nang ibig sabihin, lumabas si, si Isaac because God promised Abraham. Isaac came from the womb of Sarah. 
and who is Sarah, the heavenly Jerusalem. Naalala ko tuloy si Sarah, mga kapatid. There was a time na pumunta siya kay, kay, kay Abraham. Sabi niya, Cast out that bond woman and her son. For the son of the bond woman will not, will not be heir with my son. Parang mahirap kay Abraham yun. Di ba? Pero sabi ng Panginoon kay Abraham, sundin mo ang sinasabi ng iyong asawa. What was this, mga kapatid? Nakita natin si Sarah. She came to know her position. She came to know her privileges. She came to know her rights. At sabi niya, nang revealed sa kanya ito, sabi niya, cast out that bad woman and her son, for the son of the bad woman will not be heir with my son. Are we Sarah today? Do you know your position? Do you know your privileges? Do you know your rights? Mga kapatid, God wants to see you coming to your husband at sabi mo mga kapatid, give me my privilege. Give me what is what is for me. Give me what is my right. Hindi nagalit ang Panginoon sa ginawa ni Sarah. Natuwa ang Panginoon because it's a woman that knows her position. It's a woman that knows her privilege. Kaya, kaya bakit binubuksan ng Panginoon ang mga bagay na ito? Because God wants you to know your privileges. God wants you to know your rights. God wants you to know your standing. God wants you to know your authority. God wants you to know your position. If you know your position, you could go to your husband. I want this. I want this. I want this. Why? Because you know what's yours. Hallelujah! Healing is yours. Joy is yours. Peace is yours. Deliverance is yours. Mga kapatid, this is not a time to live under privilege. This is not the time, mga kapatid, that we would be ignorant of our rights. When you face the devil, you should know your rights. Hallelujah! When you face the devil, you should know your authority. So you can talk to him with boldness, with authority. You put that devil on the run. Hallelujah! If you know your position, if you know your authority, the devil could not bluff you. There is no, the devil could not bluff you. Hallelujah! Because you have a revelation. Hallelujah! The devil would realize the words of Jesus Christ are true. Nang sinabi niya, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Sabi ni Satan, I did not prevail there. I I am not prevailing here. Why? Because the church is established upon the rock of revelation. They know what God has made them in Christ. They know their privileges. They know their rights. They know who they are. Kaya mga kapatid, with authority, they can come to their husband. I want this. I want this. Why? Because they know what God has given them. Don't let the devil confuse you. Don't let the devil bluff you. You should know who you are. Amen. That's what this message is all about. This message is to make you overcomers. For you to be overcomers, you should know your position, what the Lord has made you. Amen. Hindi kami pwedeng i-bluff ng kahaway. Alam mo kung sa'yo. Ipaglalaban mo yan. Ikiklaim mo yan. This is a time of claiming time. Hindi na tayo ignorante sa mga bagay na ito. The devil has been exposed. The wiles of the devil has been exposed. 
Amen. And your position is revealed to you clearly. You, it's revealed to you plainly. Amen. You could hear the voice of King Oswaros. What is your request, Esther? Even to the half of my kingdom. You know that you are joint heirs with Christ. Hallelujah! Because you are sons of God, then you are heirs of all things. Amen. We know who we are. Amen. Oh my. This is the congregation. We are part of that congregation. Because most of the congregation are sa langit. Diba? Paul and his group nandun, Iranius and his group, Martin and his group. Pero si Brother Burnham, yung kanyang group, merong nandun na, merong pa na nandito, kukunti na lang. Anong purpose? Bakit kayo nandito? Pagkat merong scripture. Amen. There are those who are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah! Mga kapatid, yung mga nakaraang saints, nangamatay lahat sila. They were not able to conquer death. But this last end time bride, they will put Satan under their feet. Death worries your stain. Hallelujah! Because this mortal will put on immortality. They will not taste death. They would give the devil a big blow. Why? Pagkat the bride of the end time was trained for a knockout punch. Amen. We are not trained just to survive the battle. No. We are trained to fight a good fight. Amen. You are God's mighty warriors. You are the overcomers. Sabi sa Bible, and the overcomers will inherit all things. Kaya you could say, every promise in the Bible is mine. God has made you overcomers. God has made you victorious. You will understand that it's the life of Jesus in you, finishing the work that is left for this age. This is the bright coming of Christ. This is God in bright form. Oh my, when you look, what do you see? I see Jesus and his program. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. You understand your position? You know who you are? Oh, my God, no one can shake you if you know who you are. There is no enough devil. I don't care kung nagpawala pa ng 200 million demons. Sa age na ito, nadagdagan yung mga demonyo. I don't care. Amen. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. There is no power. Prevailing power like the revelation of the word. Because Jesus defeated Satan by the word. And we will deceive, we will defeat Satan in this greatest age of deception by the word. Because we have the word, Satan could no longer bluff us. We understood who we are. Oh, Satanas, nung una pa, gusto mo na kami kontrolin sa langit. Gusto mo na maging head. You want to sit in the mouth of the congregation. Ano? Sa palagay mo? Talunan ka nga doon eh. Ngayon, gusto mong maging head? You could not do it. By my new birth, I am connected to my Theophany. Now you have come unto Mount Zion. Amen. The city of the living God. Amen. The heavenly Jerusalem. To an innumerable company of angels. The general assembly. The church of the firstborn. The spirit of just man made perfect. That's who you are. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is the city of the living God. Not a dead God, but the city of the living God. It is the city where God is greatly praised. Amen. 
Daniel, ang sabi sa Revelation 13, yung mga tao whose name are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life were worship the beast, but not so with us. Our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We will not worship the beast, no way! But we worship the Lamb, the King of the city. Who is the Lamb? He is the light of this city. Oh my, welcome to Mount Zion. Welcome to the city of the living God. To an innumerable company of angels. Welcome to the spirit of judgment made perfect. Hallelujah! This is our city. Hallelujah! We have a great king. Mga kapatid, itong woman na ito, she know how to behave herself. Amen. This woman is a virtuous woman. Satan may try to seduce her, pero alam niya mga kapatid. Ano, oh. bakit gusto mo makipag-communicate sa akin, Satanas? There's nothing like my husband. You want to start a conversation with me, devil? If you want to start a conversation, okay, tell me about the, the, the seven thunders. Tell me about the revelation of the seven seals. Tell me about the mysteries, and I will give time for you. But Satan has no revelation. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen! Kapag gusto pumasok ni Satanas, sabi niya, oh, you are not welcome. Pero when... Amen. When the king of the city ay, da, ay darating on a white horse, sasabihin sa natin, Oh, Zion, open up your gates! Yeah. Hallelujah! For the king of the city is coming on a white horse with power and authority. Yeah. Hallelujah! Do you love the king of this city? Yeah. This is our eternal city. Hallelujah! Mount Zion in the sides of the north. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh my. Oh my. I think I said a lot already. Amen. Oh my, oh my. Do you, do you believe that Melchizedek is here? Yeah. He's the king of the city. He's the king of the city. Kaya nga sabi ba, who is this Melchizedek? Hindi that, this. Pagkat alam niya, kasama niya si Melchizedek. And we know that Melchizedek is here. He is the king of the city. He is the head. We would like to tell Satan, Satan, you are not welcome in this place. You are not welcome in this place. Amen. Kahit anong, anong form na dumating siya rito, he is not welcome in this place. We want to... Pag paparating na siya, isara natin yung gate natin. Because he's not welcome. Pero mga kabatid, sabi sa Bible... Praise it, waited for the in Zion. We are Zion. Yung pagbuya naghihintay na. At kapag nakita na natin na siya yung dumarating, na siya binababa niya na yung kanyang presensya, Oh Zion, open up your gates. Behold, your king is coming. Amen. We love the Lord. Alam niyo si Satan, because he wanted to be God. He would succeed because he will incarnate in the manner of sin. He, he would succeed to sit in the temple in Jerusalem. Pero mga kapatid, we are not Jerusalem that is earthly. We are Jerusalem that is above. Doon niya lang pwedeng gawin yan. But he cannot do it in a heavenly Jerusalem. Ayun ang deserve niya. Sige, doon sa masubukan mo rin yan. Doon lang but but pag tinat pag pinag-usapan yung heavenly Zion yung 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 heavenly Jerusalem 
Pag pinag-uusapan yung Jerusalem that is above Satan, you could never sit. Hindi ka nga pinayagan doon. Palagi mo, papayagan ka ngayon. Hindi rin. Let me end here. Let me just read Revelation 21. Revelation 21. Verse 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talk with me saying, Come hither, I will shew thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me. Anong pinakita sa kanya? The great city. The holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God and her light was like the stone of most precious. Just like a jasper stone clear as crystal. Now, I explained that already. Ano? Those are symbols. Ano yung uh, New Jerusalem? It's the bride. Sabi ng angel sa kanya, Come and I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. At anong pinakita sa kanya? The great city, the holy Jerusalem. So we are talking about Mount Zion on the sides of the north, which is the heavenly Jerusalem, the holy Jerusalem, and the lamb's wife. This is about you. Amen. Purihin na Panginoon. Tayo lahat ay tumayo. Amen. Let's prove that in the city of God, He is greatly praised. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. What a wonderful God we have. How great is our God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.